Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to OMSI 2. Today we're down in Scunthorpe on the Digibus Mirage, aka the Optair Solo. We're going to be running a Route 9, which is the little hospital shuttle, and uh, it's about, what, 20 minute round trip, give or take, but it's absolutely perfect for the Solo. It's been wanting uh, this bus for absolutely ages. We have now finally got the uh, the, the Optair branding patch on this vehicle, which is fantastic. Uh, so it's, it's slowly, slowly but surely coming together. We've got uh, this this particular repaint is on Fellows Film. It's by uh, the wonderful Dan Deering, Deering, I believe. I'm not sure how you pronounce his last name. I've never had to. Uh, but yeah, yeah, very nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, fantastic model. Uh, we're going to be actually having a play about with the ticket machine today because I, I think I might have kind of, you know, I've, I've had a little bit of a fiddle and I might actually know how to do that. So let's, uh, let's just turn ticket selling on so that if we do get stuck... We can, uh, we'll, we'll put it on easy, so if we get stuck, we can we can cheat. Right, open that, pop the doodah in. Oh, stagecoach bus over there. This is the 2016 version of Scunthorpe. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, yep. And one, two, three, four. Thank you to all the wonderful people who uh, who told me that in the comments, that you shouldn't really be shouting our pins online, online, sorry, where everyone can see. Right, hang on, so we're on the nine to the hospital. Let's have a look. Can we uh, can we get a nice nice shot of the solo there, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, just before we let everybody on. Ah, nice. That'll do. Yeah, we'll have one of you. Thank you very much. Right, okie dokie. We'll see what happens. Oh hang on, the, the, the doodars are there. Ah! Have we got a oh cafe. Have we got notes? Oh, hang on, you want a 170, right? So you press it, and it comes out straight away. Now, what do you want? You want £8.30. 20, 30. You've given the passenger too little change. God, they're demanding, aren't they? They didn't even take his ticket, the woman behind did. Uh, right, you want a £1.15, yeah. I've got these written down, if, uh, if you're wondering. How I can uh, how I can easily tell what it is? Yeah, I've got them written down because it doesn't actually say anything on the buttons. Uh, Two fifty seventy. Lovely, thank you. This little hospital shuttle is going to be full. Flipping egg. Little town runners packed. Uh, Three pounds sixty. Right, where are you? You're there, and you want one twenty forty back. Thank you. Two thirty. Uh, yeah, middle one. And then two fifty seventy. So it's easy enough. I don't know why the text is jumping up and down up there. Hang on. Middle one. Yeah. 20. Thank you, child. And I bet... Oh, no, it's not quite full and standing. We're using the 850 variant again today because it's just dinky, isn't it? It's small. It's just adorable. I love it. Uh, you know, there's... Uh, again, from plenty of other videos, from the other two videos I've done... Oh, yeah, by the way, this has got the, the BPBP. I didn't realise that the Slash 2 variant was a different dash. I didn't realise that, so uh, yeah, my apologies saying that it doesn't come with as many variants. It does come with two different dashes. As you'll see, this is different to last time. I think this is the slightly newer dash. This is the one I remember learning in. Because it had the BPD, BPD, BPD. Right, hang on. There we go. We'll put a bit of directions on because I've not driven this Route 9 in quite a while. Don't want to get lost, do we? Right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's still got that Allison changing up and down like nobody's business. Whee! Your wheels are in front of you, Joe. You can't put your uh, can't put your front end over the curb, so to speak. Not in a solo, anyway. Right, foot down. This child's gonna cross, isn't he? I can, uh, I can feel it. Yeah, no, of course not. Oh no! Oh, sorry, child. Yep, yeah, you're, you're under our front wheels now. I beep, but you know, M A N horn. Right, here we go. Yeah, I think a lot of people have, uh, have, have and to be fair, I was very critical uh, of this bus. And still am to a point, but uh, yeah, it has to be said. There are a lot of nice little features, and I do actually enjoy driving it. It's just irritating. Oh, this junction takes forever to get out of, doesn't it? 
but yeah, for little routes like this, it's uh, it's an absolute godsend, isn't it? For the Route 9. Hornsby Travel, the little local operator. Let's accelerate around here, see if we can get a bit of body roll. Pause it, and then what we'll do is we'll... Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, hang on, we've, we've missed the bus altogether. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that, and it's, it's just leaning over to the side like solos so often do. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. God, oh, those sounds the funny. Do you know? Right, hang on, so all routes we need to go up here, as is always the case in Scunthorpe. I can't believe this is Scunthorpe 2016, so like, this is six years old and next year it'll be seven years old. I mean, that's just basic maths, isn't it? But I can't believe it's been out so long. Oh, what on earth's happened with the road markings there? Something's happened. I wonder. Should really have taken it for a drive up Gainsborough, shouldn't we? Hello, hello. Oh god, they're going to ask for a ticket. Scunthorpe Day Rider. Oh no, that's a 181. Ah! No, that's 230. Look at your... Um... Stop printing a ticket! 360. There we go. Yeah, lovely. I know you desire a ticket, madam. Just bear with them. It's first day on the job with this machine. Oh, it's stressful. It's a very stressful ticket machine. <laughs> oh dear. Right, there we go. Busy bus, isn't it? Perhaps the Solo is not best fitted uh, to this route. Perhaps we could do with something a little bit bigger. Just have a little, little pootle through town. I don't think anybody's going to go to this bus stop, are they? No. Nobody's getting off either, so that's fine. I don't have a clue what's happened with these flipping road markings. It were working last time we came, wasn't it? And I've not, Well, I must have installed something new. Maybe the new version of uh, Gainsborough, or Lincolnshire, sorry, should I say. Maybe it's messed up the, uh, the road markings. Well, obviously, Mr Moose has redone all this for, uh, for Lincolnshire, hasn't he? This scum thought doesn't half look dated in comparison. His, uh, his map making st skills have come on leaps and bounds. Oh, is this for uh, you getting... Oh, well, someone's getting off anyway, so we've got to stop, haven't we? Old lady's thinking, no, I don't want this bus. Don't stop. It's not all about you, love. Flipping heck. Right, off we go. There we go. There's no need to rush us. They will have a nice... Nice leisurely. Oh, that, that shop keeps cropping up, doesn't it? It's so lovely. Past that a few times now. Oh, we've got a uh, SO on the right. I'd never noticed, like, the Sainsbury's and everything. Never, never noticed it. Alright, here we go. I don't think the hospital's far from here, is it, to be honest with you? I think in Scunthorpe, the new Scunthorpe 2020, it's got the, uh, the the bumps in the road, hasn't it? The road surface isn't quite as smooth. It's good coming down here with the Renown. It sounds like it's falling apart. It's a right bus. Of course it rattles. Solo's got a good bit of rattle on as well. I don't think Solo's rattle as much, though, do they? Because, I mean, let's face it, there's not as much of them to rattle. I can tell you, it doesn't rattle as much as my Eclipse that I bought. Flipping heck. That is one of the rattliest buses I've ever driven. Right, here we go. I think this is the hospital, isn't it? Everybody will be getting off here.
Oh, there's an Enviro 400 behind me. I hope he's not been... Uh, where is he? There he goes. Look. Oh, he's racing along. He must be late. Oh, you can't have double deckers on here. Flipping heck. Get your roof taken off. Thud. So this is the A&E. I don't know where the doors are. There we go. We'll, uh... Are the doors? Did we pass doors? Oh, yeah, we did. The... Oh, hang on. Yeah, there's like that little thing for outside an A&E, but there's no doors there. I thought we went past doors. But we're going mad. Oh, I don't like this bit. I don't like this ticket machine. Right. Two, three, twenty, thirty. I, I, I don't like the fact that you don't... It, oh, no. Hang on. 360. Where's that? That's there. I don't like the fact that, I mean, and, and this could be the ticket machine, just how it is. But, like, I, I want to press it, it show the price, and then I press enter. Instead of just doing one straight away. That's a little bit, whoa, because then when you get the wrong one. Oh, it's a worry. I'm a bundle of nerves driving this thing, flipping heck. Hospital main entrance. Next stop. Oh, nice and bumpy down here. This road could do with a. You can't have ambulances racing in and out on a road like this. You'll be getting patients bounced out the doors. For goodness sake. Oh, that indicator is just, just brilliant. I'm, I'm absolutely there now on a solo. Brings me back to my scary driving lessons. That were all you tended to hear. And it had this really annoying feature where when you were going around a corner, it would click your indicator off. Like, you know how it does? Because buses do that, cars do that. When, you, when you're turning back, when you've done a turn, you're going back to straight forward. It clicks your indicator off, doesn't it? But this solo would do it in either direction. So say your steering wheel was was straight. Oh, hang on. 180 in the middle there. Say your steering wheel was straight and you've come to a corner. And you're like, you know, indicating to go around. The second you turned your steering wheel, uh, click it off. You're like, for goodness sake. <laughs> I'm sure it was a feature. It's a feature, not a bug. That's what the guy said. It's a feature, not a problem. Yeah, the guy who was training me. Right, let's uh, let's skip ahead by a minute because then we're nice and on time, aren't we? I don't really want to be leaving the hospital early. There we go. Right, and away we go. When OMSI 3 comes out, I hope they add uh, the uh, the ability to overtake. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So that cars can just overtake and AI buses can overtake. That'd be brilliant. Perhaps it's wishful thinking, OMSI 3. But uh, we can hope, can't we? We can carry on hoping. The day will probably never come, but it'd be nice to. Uh, it's nice to keep hoping. Oh, hang on, right, we'll have a little thing with the solo brakes, or the solo that I learnt in, had absolutely no retarder at all. It was either no brakes or brakes, and there was normally a bit of a, a jolt forward when the brakes started coming in. You know, it wasn't a smooth braking experience at all, and that's replicated really well here, actually. I find it quite difficult to brake smoothly on this thing. I don't know if Solos at some point did have a retarder, but they most certainly didn't. Uh, the one that I learned it certainly didn't. There we go. Back towards town. Yeah, 
It is a lovely little town runner, this, isn't it? Oh, we've committed. Oh no, the traffic lights have done that thing. I'm sure they did that last time we came to Scunthorpe and I've just never fixed it. Nobody saw that. There we go. Come on, everybody off. Oh, Enviro going past. I definitely need to do more driving on this Scunthorpe map. I do miss it. It's a fantastic map, isn't it, really? Nice little network of routes. I'm not too keen on the big circulars. I'm, I'm not really a lover of circular routes. Because you just keep, you know, I like to go there and back. Linear routes, according to Bus Simulator 21. That's what they're called, isn't it? Linear routes. That's what I'm a, fa a big fan of in comparison. They seem to quite like the circular routes in uh, in Scunthorpe and Gainsborough because that had that little uh, that little run round the houses, didn't it? Another route that the Optest Solo will be brilliant for. I tell you, this is going to crop up quite a bit in my AI lists from now on. See, these traffic lights aren't broken. Why are the other ones broken? Oh, you're joking. It's going to take us ages. If we're letting through one car at a time, man, sure these two aren't trying to turn right, are they? So if they're not trying to turn right, we might get through fairly quick. Because, you know, I don't mind going through on it. Oh, look, it's so lovely again on the left. God, they've got a right load of branches in uh, in Scunthorpe, haven't they? And there's another one over there, look. You just... Yeah, look, there's another one there. You'd imagine they'd all kind of compete with each other, but there must be uh, a lot of sewing that goes on in Scunthorpe. It must be like, maybe there's not a lot to do. It strikes me as the sort of place that doesn't really have a lot to do. You know, it's kind of, if you lived in Scunthorpe, you'd maybe go into Doncaster on the train or, you know. I don't know. I've never been to the place. It might be absolutely lovely. But, uh, yeah, it just strikes me as quite quiet. Not a lot going on. Maybe that's just the OMSI map. Right, come on. Get your foot down, people. Got a bus to run. We're a minute late. We're going. We're going in front of this chap here. Here we go. Straight across. Look at that. That's the height of professionalism, is that? Nobody to get off here? Nope, no worries. Just keep going then. Back to the bus station. I think there's another stop down here where that Enviro is. Oh, we're speeding. I think it's 30 down here, isn't it? Having a right little, uh, right little... Oh, hang on. Sorry, madam. The thing I like about the solos is because they're so small, you always feel like you're going really fast in them. Even if you're only doing, like, 25, 30, you just feel like you're racing along. There we go. Oh, two Enviros in a row. Flipping it. Frequent service, isn't it? You don't have to take it quite so wide, Joe. Your bus is only eight and a half metres. 
Oh, well, there we go, back at the bus station. I thought that was an absolutely fantastic little poodle. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do make sure that you click that like button. Always helps the video do a little bit better, and, uh, and it's appreciated by myself. If you haven't already, as well, do subscribe. Got lots of exciting Omsi content to come uh, in the future, and I would hate for you to miss out on any of that brilliance. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. There we go. Let's, uh, let's get us in a... A nice little, nice little, oh, brilliant, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Turn the, turn the doodar off. Yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.